Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today I have a little share for you. I made a vintage envelope stack, highly embellished uh, vintage envelope stack. But a uh, real quick share right before I do that, I um, wanted to share this little trick that I just came up with. And um, it's kind of fun. And so what I did was I have uh, different pieces of vintage wallpaper and uh, I use them in my journals for pockets and tucks and things like that and I got to thinking about it I don't know why but why not try embossing it so I did and I think it turned out pretty cool and the back is even kind of better too because it really shows the embossing lines so you could actually use that as a really cool pocket or embellishment besides it being on the front now I did notice that the wider the bigger the um, embossing folder designs, the better it was. And like this one is, uh, this one was used on a, um, the pattern is pretty busy and the embossing folder is pretty busy too. So, uh, but here on the back, I guess the, uh, whatever the rubber or plasticky stuff that the wallpaper is made out of takes the emboss um, a little bit better. And then you can really see it in areas of vintage wallpaper that doesn't have a lot of the printing on it. So this one turned out really nice. That's a rose embossed. And then in my envelope stacks, I uh, on the inside I put each envelope has a piece of this uh, embossing, embossed. Uh, wallpaper. So um, here's my envelopes and they're highly embellished and I'm going to be putting them uh, for sale in my ISTE store. They'll, it'll be these three. It'll be in packs of three and these are the only three I have done. I'm going to be doing some more but this is the ones I have done. It has a lot of little digital ephemera tucked in places here and you can use these for a um, to store things and different types of ephemera. You could use it to all kinds of different things like that. And see, this is a little piece of the vintage wallpaper here. So we'll go through this. This is, like I said, it's highly embellished. It'll take me a minute to go through and show you all the different little embellishments and things like that that we have on here. Um, different little flowers and sweet French digitals and this has some gold, shiny parts in the lace. It goes with this gold, shiny trim. And then this is a little envelope that pops open and inside there. And, and then I used, uh, I have some digitals in my store of these uh, vintage uh, druggist labels. I use those to cover the little envelope, put a little piece of the digital ephemera in there. Maybe I don't have to be quite so close there. And then um, behind it is a little put, uh, tuck spot, a little tag. All of the, not all of the tags, but some of the tags all have gold around it. The envelopes all have gold on the edges all around it. It's kind of a metallic gold. And some of the ephemera has uh, gold like this one does. This is a vintage uh, perfume digital and a little vintage label. It goes in a nice little tuck spot right there. And a little ribbon with the pearl embellishment. And then this is some... Uh, why do I always have a brain whatever? Applique. There we go. A <laughs> beaded applique. I always can't think of words when I'm on here and a little bit of silver trim over on this side. So on this side of the envelope, we have some pretty satin roses with some uh, vintagey looking lace. And then I did put a couple digitals on the, I printed them on both sides. So the envelopes, these are envelopes that I printed and made myself. And it's printed on a little bit heavier paper. It's not cardstock, but it's uh, not just like copy paper either. It's like 32 pound HP paper or 34 pound, or I don't know if it's pound, but it's 32 
uh, premium HT pa HP paper. I put a butterfly, a little vintage French label, and a teacup. And then you saw the um, wallpaper. And then this is one of those vintage French fans with a little bow and a little rose. And then in here I have tucked a couple little pieces of ephemera. And then another one of those beaded appliques. It's kind of a burgundy, light burgundy color. And then on this tuck, she have a little lady next to her rose. And then a couple little pieces of, these are some French ephemera pieces, different little pieces. I've been working on a French ephemera book and so I have a lot of French ephemera pieces. Little pit piece of uh, trim. Another little piece of trim over here on this side. So there we go for that one. And then on this one, oh, I had fun on this one. I really embellished this lady up. I gave her a pink bodice in the back, lace bodice, and then I put pearls over the top of it. And then some rhinestones in her hair and a little bit of this silver for her belt. And then I put her on a little label I put gold around all the edges, a little bit of a dark pink lace at the bottom, and then we have a flat back button with a little bit of pearly color and gold, and then a little teacup, and you can actually uh, put something behind there if you wanted to. Take these out. There's actually space to tuck something in there. A couple pieces of digital ephemera. I'm working on these for the shop, making some, uh, putting the flowers on some uh, ornate ephemera that I found. Trying to make it even prettier. And a yellow rose with some silver lace applique in the back. And then another satin flower with a pink bow. And then on this side, we have some lace and a crown, some lace and a bow, lots of bows, very pretty. I love this digital, that's a French perfume digital. The inside is pink flowers and this is a little piece of a, um, vintage wallpaper that I've embossed and it's got a dove on it. That goes inside there. And then for the ephemera, couple pieces of, uh, these are French perfume, oh wait a minute, I want to, and then this is a fan with a little vintage hat, and I do believe it tucks a little bit on this side, so another vintage perfume label, and another ornate vintage label, so got that. That'll be number two, and then the third one in the stack is this one, right here. Put pink polka dots on the back, and a little tuck right here. We have some satin, a little rose. Eh, it's not really a rose, maybe a daisy applique. A couple little flowers, a little leaf, a satin leaf right there. A little belly band, two different kinds of trims on the side, with the trim from the other side sticking out on that side, uh, vintage French perfume label, and then we have a vintage piece of ceramic dinner plate, and a little flower applique with sequins and pearls on it, and then another Vintage is a vintage, couple vintage fans. It was an advertisement with a little bird in it. And then here is a couple little pieces. This is a vintage calendar uh, from the page of a vintage calendar thing with a couple different months on it. And then I had a little jewel that I put on there. I don't know what you call those. They're, um, I got them at a sale. It's not a bead. Not really a jewel, but anyways, they're pretty. And then inside the tuck is a couple pieces of digital ephemera. 
tucked in there. This was from a French site. This is actually really old, even though the print came out very nice looking. And then on this side, this is from a vintage wedding dress, and I made a little tuck out of it. And then some little white and pink flowers and some lace. Some more of that silver trim. A very pretty pink flower and bow. A little clear heart. And this is a little green bonnet. And there's that trim that's tucked out from the other side. Some little tiny little flowers. And then pink roses on the inside. And the uh, wallpaper is embossed. Tucks in there. And then the uh, digitals that I have tucked in here. A couple little things. Some real pretty stuff. Tucked in the lady. And I put a little sparkly on her dress. And gold around the edges. And I had so much fun doing these guys. I'm going to do more. It's a blast to do these. I hope you like them. I'm, I can see them being used for a lot of things. Oh, I wanted to take this out so I could. And then this has a little bit of a tuck spot in it and a couple little digital crowns in different colors that I made. Flip that up. Tuck that in. There we go. And um, I will put these in my store. And you could use these to store receipts. You could use photos. You could use them to give to somebody as a gift. Um, I can just see all kinds of uses for these. I hope you like them. They're a lot of fun to make. I hope you think about making some yourself. Um, just going crazy with all the uh, different embellishments and the different laces and little pieces of applique and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.